This is to demonstrate how we do um, a simple interrupted uh, surgical stitch. First of all, we want to know what's the instrument we need to do that procedure. So a needle holder or a needle um, director, uh, uh, forceps, these are a tissue forceps uh, to help in stitching but also can give assistance to the uh, um, uh, direction of the needle. It can be toothed forceps as you see here or uh, a smooth forceps. And the last is scissors. Uh, in regards to the stitches, there is different different type of stitches, different in the uh, on the needle type or the stitch type, the size of it. Today we'll demonstrate our uh, uh, sim simple note, uh, simple uh, stitch with a three zero um, monocryl uh, stitch. So the first uh, step is to. Okay, get our stitch out of the package and we'll reveal the needle out here and then take it with the needle holder. As you see here, the needle has to be on the tip of the needle holder and about a third or a quarter from the end of the needle. And it has to be facing you smiling in front of you. This is the right way to hold the needle holder. And it has to be in front of you, smiling in front of you. Not this way, not this way. So this is the right way. Now we take all the thread out. Now to start the sti stitching, um, the first step is to take the needle across the wound margin. Going perpendicular, from the right margin of the wound, through the skin, out through the wound, going back this time from inside the wound, and out of the skin. So our thread now cross the wound margin. We leave about 4-5 cm from the end. Making the surgical instrument knot, so the needle holder, we turn the thread two times around it. You can start with clockwise or anti-clockwise, and then taking the end of the thread and pulling the thread out of the instrument. We stay parallel to the, to the wound, as you see here. Now, in order to secure this knot, knot, then we make this time only one turn, taking the end and stabilize our knot here. We avoid excessive tension. It just the tension you need is just to approximate the wound margin together. You can make another one. Another one, it depends on the size of the stitch you use. Sometimes we use four times, sometimes seven times. The smaller the stitch, the more the knots you, you need to do in order to secure it. The final step is to cut the thread with the scissors. Okay, so I'll just repeat it again, or we'll go through the steps again. First, take the needle, right position, tip at the tip of the needle holder, about a quarter or third from the back of the needle. Going through the wound's margin, starting from the right side, if you are right-handed. Coming from the skin, out from the wound, Back again, through the wound, out of the skin from the left side. 
the thread now across the wound margin, making the instrument knot to turn around the needle holder, taking the other end, pulling the thread parallel to the wound, repeating it on the opposite side, making the second knot here, and again, and again. Finally, we cut the thread. Thank you.